Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We have a season four roadmap and there is so many details, so much stuff that we could talk about, go on tangents on. So let's talk about it. First things first, Maradar Toten. We have this screenshot. Yes, it's coming in July. It's not coming at the start of season. We've kind of known that for a while now. Yes, it's disappointing, but I really like this screenshot. I like the atmosphere that it provides, the dark and spooky. It goes hand in hand with zombies. It's just, it's wonderful. And I'm really excited to play a map in this because it's been a long time since maybe what, like dead of the night, since we've gotten like a nighttime map, a proper nighttime map. Everything else has been like broad daylight out in the open in this weird mystery world, I guess with ancient evil. So yeah, I'm really excited for a nighttime zombies map. The next thing everyone's talking about is obviously this is based on the single player mission. And a lot of people are saying like, this is good or this is bad or whatever. The Firebase Z was based off of a single player mission and it was pretty, you know, the architecture was really in there and I bet you, you know, I'll throw up some footage of the gameplay, the single player mission where I think the Berlin map is going to be, you know, on the sign in the street corner and it looks like a fun place to be and it kind of has that same atmosphere. So if it's anything like this campaign mission in terms of atmosphere, I think it's going to be fun. There's also the fact that a lot of people are saying, well, I guess a leaker said that this map is going to have parts of Verrucht and Kino der Toten in it. Which, if so, if true, great, cool, because I think they did it really well with Nocturne Toten in D Machine, but I don't know because they said the same thing about parts of Shinanuma being in Firebase Z, and that didn't turn out to be true, even though it was like data mine, you could see signs, and people got out of the way. I, eh, take it with a grain of salt. I don't know. If so, I hope they do it well like they did with Firebase Z or with uh, D Machine. And if not, then cool, whatever. Now, Treyarch needs to be very careful when reusing old zombie maps for new ones, in my opinion. I think that's why, part of the reason at least, I don't really like maps like Alpha Omega and Tag Der Toten. But it's not just because of the architecture that they're reusing, but it's the fact that the wonder weapons and the boss zombies are just a slight variation of different wonder weapons and different boss zombies. That's what really made those maps feel kind of hollow and unfinished. Yeah, D Machine has the same Nocturne Toten in full, but it also has a unique wonder weapon and a unique boss zombie, unique, ma you know, there's a lot more stuff to that map than just Nocturne Toten. And I really hope that Maurder Toten is the same way. If this new map is anything like Firebase C or D Machine, this is gonna be a great map. So now let's talk about something that I really, really wanted to talk about yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to. The last round based map. Is this the last round based map? I really hope not. Now, I just watched a couple videos uh, kind of disproving this fact, but yesterday was kind of a rough day in the zombie community because we thought there's this leak that the last DLC map was actually ported over to Vanguard, and that still might be true, but we're not sure. But having only three round-based maps in a zombie game would be horrible. This would be the worst timeline. This would be a terrible thing to have for a game. And I don't know, Treyarch would need to do a huge like PR stunt or something to really justify this sort of content. I know it's a free season, I guess, of zombies. So the $60 buying you three round based maps is kind of a good deal. But still, the community would would have been lit on fire and, and crazy if, if this were really the case. And it still might be we don't know. But I did just watch, I think, Milo's video, and he was like, if this was the last round based map, you know, Treyarch would definitely be like hyping it up and, you know, having it as this big finale. And I, I that kind of gave me some solace. I think that's true. So I'm going to try to relax a little bit here. But uh, it does look like, and I think we've known this for a while, at least common sense. It looks like we're going to get this map, the Berlin map, and then one last map for Cold War Zombies, which is definitely going to be unfortunate because that means we still only have four maps, but hey, four is better than three. However, this opens the door for Zombie Chronicles 2. Now, there is just so much to talk about Zombie Chronicles 2, about how, you know, it's apparently just Transit Buried and Die Rise and not uh, Nuketown, uh, Call of the Dead or Mob of the Dead. And, the, you know, it's releasing for Vanguard or is it releasing for Color? Who knows? Like, this is kind of why I don't like speculating because all of this information changes a whole bunch and then we can draw a whole bunch of different conclusions and then there's just this big anxiety about everything for months and months and months. I don't like talking about that stuff. I don't like speculating because 
I want to be happy. I want to enjoy the things that I enjoy. And I'm enjoying Cold War Zombies right now. I'm, I'm excited for this new round based map and I'm excited, believe it or not, for the Outbreak content. And so I want to focus on that. So I won't talk much about Zombie Chronicles 2 other than the fact that there is this big gap in Cold War Zombies content that I would so be down for just a season two. Okay, well, that's a second year of Cold War Zombies content. And if that content was Zombie Chronicles 2, this might just be the perfect opportunity for Treyarch to do that. Now, I don't know how the community would feel about having like Transit Buried and Die Rise on the Cold War Zombies engine, because really the essence of Zombie Chronicles was to provide players with that authentic experience of the map. You know, you played you know, Origins in Black Ops 2, but Origins in Black Ops 3 was, well, it was designed to be better. Same thing with Shinonuma Moon. It was meant to be the same experience, just in a more updated graphics and in the new game engine. And I feel like Cold War Zombies has changed so much. I don't know if players would want any classic maps to return in this engine, even though I think the community agrees that this is a really great zombies game and a really great zo with really great zombie mechanics. But here we are down the rabbit hole once again. Finally, we need to talk about Outbreak because, you know, the past couple months, Outbreak has gotten a lot of hate. And granted, it's not my favorite game mode, but I don't think it deserves the hate that it gets. Everyone's talking about how it's like cheap zombie content. I don't think it's that cheap zombie content. There are some really fun and unique things to experience in Outbreak. It's just not my personal way of enjoying the zombie mode, but I think it's a very valid way to play the zombies mode. And everyone's saying that it's taking developers away from the round based maps, and it's also lazy because it's easier to do than round based maps. I just, I don't know enough about game development to make either of those statements. I could see how different development teams can take on these things and the same amount of people working on round based maps were gonna work on round based maps no matter if Outbreak was a thing, it's an entirely different team, but I don't know. And I could see how developing Outbreak can be much more taxing and difficult than just slapping and throwing zombies in this open world because there's like AI scripts and all of these stuff. Then again, I'm not a developer, I don't know. I just feel like those critiques are just a little narrow minded and short sighted. I'm excited to play zombies on Zoo. I really hope that like Zoo from Black Ops 1 is within this map because I was actually playing uh, Duga. I think it's Duga and the new one. And I found myself, I didn't know about this, but I found the original grid from Black Ops 1 within this. I just, I had this like nostalgic wave. I was like, what's this? What's this? Oh, this is, this is this map. And I remember it and I really hope Zoo is just a little bit in there because that would be really fun. That was a really fun thing to experience within uh, within that map. So I, I kind of like Outbreak for that. But also, I just want to do a whole thing on Outbreak. I want to make a full like scripted video about what I would do to change Outbreak to make it more fun. But I think it's got so many great fundamentals and I really hope that it continues on strong. And I'm excited for the Easter egg and I kind of want to get the season three Easter egg done uh, before the season four Easter egg comes out. But I don't know, I'm kind of kind of nervous. I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know if I'm a good enough zombie player, but I don't know, we'll see. And finally, more weapons. I'm always down for more weapons. More weapons in zombie or in Call of Duty for me is like my bread and butter. I love the weapons of Call of Duty. I am a huge uh, fan whenever they add in new weapons and I love that we can get them for free in zombies this year. And uh, I only hope, and this is not gonna happen, but I really hope that these weapons have fun and unique pack-a-punch variants, you know, especially the nail gun. I think the nail gun could do so many cool things, like give an extra, you know, penetration damage to all the zombies when pack-a-punched or something, because they haven't done that this year, and that's kind of, I bet you that's just development time that they don't have, so that's unfortunate, but that would be, that'd be pretty cool. But it's cool that we're getting, like, the Amelie back from Call of Duty Ghosts and the nail gun and, and even more guns, so I'm really excited for that, but, um, yeah, I'm excited for this season of zombies and content in general. There is so much to speculate. There's so much to talk about within each of those speculations. And I wish I could talk about those things, but every time I start talking about if this happens and this happens and this happens, I kind of just get burnt out and I get frustrated with myself and frustrated with the situation. I'd rather wait until something happens and then review it, talk about it, and that's the discussion, is about what is and what we know to be true as opposed to what could be true, because what could be true is is infinite, but uh, what is, is is finite. So anyway, that's my thoughts on season four of the Cold War. 
Once again, if you made it this far into the video, please leave a like and leave a like if you like this casual commentary. It's new to me. I don't know how to talk like this anymore. I need a script to read off of in order to sound competent, but uh, you guys really just loved the previous casual commentary. And uh, so here we are again talking about season four. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to be trying to get back into live streaming more consistently and of course giving you guys more and more content as much as I can. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful Zombies Morning. I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.